In this video, I'm going to show you how to tidy up text in Excel, which has got lots of spaces before and or after it. So this is an example. So I'll go to my name here and look, there's all these spaces before it and there's even spaces after it. Okay, but we want to keep the space in the middle because that is the gap between my first and last name. Same with this one here, the spaces before it, this one here has got spaces before it and spaces after it. So you might have, you, know, you might have been given this data, or it might have been copy and pasted into this document and yeah, you need to tidy up. Now you could manually do it, which would take a while to, to delete all of it, um, but that is possible. Um, but imagine if this list was you know, a thousand rows long. There's a much quicker way of doing it. Go into the cell next to the first one. So this one here, Alan Dixon, A1. Let's go in B1. And then type in equals trim. It's a T-R-I-M. Open bracket. Click on this one cell here. Close bracket. And then press return or enter on your keyboard. And there you have it. Now we have Alan Dixon without anything before or after it. And then just repeat this process for the rest of them. But quick way of doing it, because we have this equation in here, just click on a little square at the bottom corner there. Click on that, drag it down. It does the process for all the names. You can see all the results, which is perfect. But in the formula bar, it says equals trim A1, A2, and so forth, which is not a problem. But if you did want to change the, the formula bar, so it just shows the actual results, what you can do is select all of the column. So you can highlight all of it, or it's even easier just to click on B, select all the column, copy it, which is control C, right click. We want to do paste special, and we want to choose this paste value here. And it's this one here, which is values. Click on that. It's now pasted it. Doesn't look like anything's happened. But if I click on any of these, you'll notice in the formula bar, it now says the name rather than equals trace. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more top tech tips.